So the purpose of this patch is to use the table object as a probability vector in order to allow the option for choosing between categories of sounds. Um, so we're imagining that each of these sub patches that I have here represents a different category of sound. If we use the soundscape analogy I was using um, today in class, this could be people, this could be animals, this could be um, wildlife, this could be mechanical sounds. And what we can do with the table object is assign a weight um, for the likelihood that each of these categories of sounds will um, will be chosen. So the table object is controlling the choice. It's basically sending out the index that it chooses with each bang that you, you send it. So one time it might send a zero, it might send a one, it might send a two, and then the select object just directs that choice to the appropriate category of sound. And then the subpatches are based on the materials that we've already been looking at. They're just choosing a sound um, randomly and playing it back. The other um, control that I want to look out here before we dive briefly into the subpatches um, is the um, the timer over here. This should look familiar. It's um, how we were controlling the timing when we were looking at those individual patches and all it's doing is using the clocker to um, send out values at regular time. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 at the millisecond. So every second it's sending up the appropriate number. After one second, it sends out a thousand, two seconds, two thousand, and so on. And then, so the select object basically tells us how long to wait for the clocker before we send out a bang. So in this case, when the clocker reaches 5,000, it will be multiplied times 0 0.001, and so we'll get a five, and the select will say, oh, hooray, we got a five, and it will send a bang, and it sends a bang to three places. The first place is to the table object, which triggers that random output, which will be directed to one of these sub patches so that a sound will be played. The second place it sends the bang um, virtually, actually simultaneously, um, is to the random object to choose another random value so that the next time, rather than waiting five seconds before it gives a bang, maybe it'll wait 10 seconds. And of course to the clocker, and when the clocker gets a bang, it starts counting again from zero um, to whatever value has been randomly generated. So we've looked at most of what's going on out here, the table object choosing which category of sound, the clocker um, object controlling how long to wait before we make a choice. The only other thing that we're doing out here are these little square boxes, which um, are the place where we will drag the folders, literally drag and drop the folders um, of sounds that we want to use um, into the patch. And I have it set so at the moment so that when you drag those folders of sounds into these boxes, um, it sets off a series of um, automated processes that basically load those folders, those sounds into um, the SF play, which is hidden inside the sub patch inside the poly voice. So it's double nested, this SF play. And basically, we're just trying to simplify the process of dragging, dropping a folder of sounds, and then um, having those sounds preloaded into the polyvoice object. So how does that work? Well, when you load those sounds, when you drag and drop that file, what happens is that box sends a path. Um, so it sends... Uh, you know, slash user, slash um, your name, slash uh, music, slash whatever, whatever the path of the folder is, it sends that 
string into this inlet, prepends as at the beginning the word prefix, prefix, and then triggers two things. It triggers that symbol being sent to the U menu, so it loads up the U menu with the files, and then it sends a bang to this count message um, in order to count the number of files that are available um, in the U menu or in the folder. That count message basically it goes to this unpack object, and because when you get the count message out, it doesn't just say the number of files, it says count and then the number of files. So you ignore the first arg the first value, the count um, string, and you just take the number of files and you send it a couple of places. Um, you send it to the random object over here and you send it via this trigger to the Uzi object over here. Now why are we doing that? Why do we need to tell this random object and this Uzi object how many files are, are available in the U menu? Well, two reasons. Um, the random object, remember, is telling us to choose one of these files to play back. And we need to have the same, um, we need to make sure that it doesn't choose a file that doesn't exist. So if this has four files and we have 23 potential um, numbers that the random object is going to give us, we're going to get values that we have no presets for. We have nothing preloaded. Um, so we'll get silence. So that's why we're sending the count of the fold, the number of um, files in the folder to the random object. And the Uzi object, remember, was how we were getting um, the sound files preloaded into the SF Play. So remember, in order to get a file into the SF Play and have it preloaded to a particular integer, so you can just send the number 5 to the SF Play from the random object, you need to send the message preload, a particular in integer, a unique integer, and then um, the, the sound file, or um, the string for the sound file. Um, and so... Again, you, you want to have the Uzi, the, num the value in the Uzi, uh, match the number of values that you have stored in your U menu. Um, so, yeah, that, I basically covered everything. The only thing I didn't touch on was this target zero. Target zero is... Um, how we talk to all of the voices. So remember, target one, target two, target three. We have however many voices we've specified in the poly voice. Um, so in this case, we have 12 of these um, sub patches that we've created, and we want to be able to talk to each of them individually. The target zero tells us the target message is what allows us to talk to them individually, but if we want to talk to them all at once and say, you know, this. Um, all of the SF plays within the poly, within the sub patch, I want to have loaded with the same set of files, same sounds. Um, then you just send target zero, and then it talks to all of the different voices, and you can send them the same set of sounds. And then later, when you want to assign different voices, you use, that's why we have this counter over here, and with the target message, it lets us say, oh, we just chose a random number for the sound, let's um, assign that sound to voice three. Let's assign the next one to voice four, and so on. Um, and that is this patch, in essence.